Good afternoon. Uh, as many of you know, the governor has declared a state of emergency in multiple counties throughout the state of Florida. Duval County is one of them. Uh, just to clarify what that means, that simply gives us access to resources should we need them in the event of the impact and the ramifications of the tropical storm. Uh, here's what we can expect uh, over the course of about the next 12 to 15 hours. Expect the unexpected. Um, in about two to three hours, we will have uh, rain bands coming through. Uh, those will go on and off for about a period of 12 or so hours, uh, so until you know, maybe 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, you can expect flooding, uh, possible tornadoes. Uh, citizens of Jacksonville can rest assured that we are prepared. JFRD, Public Works, JEA, JTA, the independent agencies, uh, we're all prepared and ready to go. Public Works has already been out looking at areas uh, that may have uh, issues as it relates to flooding and brush, et cetera. I am uh, encouraging, going to encourage uh, non-essential city employees to leave today at 3 o'clock. Uh, my understanding is JSO is doing the same thing as our other agencies uh, and some businesses are, may have made that decision as well. Uh, I would encourage that, so uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, alleviate traffic, rush hour traffic as the storms begin to move through, and also to get home and just prepare. Uh, for the storm, whatever it is that you need to do. We may have power outages, uh, paperwork in the, in the event that there's flooding. Uh, so again, uh, you can get more information at jacksready.com, uh, and I just want the people of Jacksonville to know that the city and your agencies are ready and here to serve you. Thank you. Um, what we've done is gone out to known areas where there are challenges and make sure we have clear flow paths for our stormwater, take away any blockages. Um, we also go around to our active construction projects and, and make sure they're shored up and that we don't have anything blocking anything. Okay. Yeah, a couple of things. If you come across a red light that is down, that is treated as a four-way stop. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, additionally, there are a lot of questions this time and uncertainty. People ask about bridges. Uh, bridges are being monitored. At this time, there are no bridge closures. closures. Uh, to the extent that you can avoid bridges, uh, particularly if you're a large vehicle, I think that would be wise, but those are monitored uh, as a result of sustained winds. Yeah, so after school activities have been canceled, uh, with the exception of some, some programs that children need to be a part of given uh, their circumstance, uh, uh, graduations are on tonight. Business as usual tomorrow uh, in terms of the services like garbage pickup that we do, employees back to work. Uh, but I can tell you that JEA, uh, Public Works, uh, all parties, JFRD, that are not only working through the storm are prepared tomorrow for, for the aftermath, whatever that looks like. And first and foremost in situation on this is, is public safety. Should you see a downed line, do not go near it, do not touch it, call 911. But in, as far as outages go, we, we expect that we will experience some outages with the winds and the, the amount of rain that we'll be receiving over this evening. Uh, bear with us. Uh, we've got to let the winds die down to below 30 miles an hour before our folks can get back up safely onto the poles and restore. What we've done is we've gotten everybody pre-positioned. We're ready to go at this point in time. We're giving the crews some rest. They're going to come in early tomorrow, and so at first crack of dawn, we're going to be out there restoring power. That is correct. Once, If, if we see s sustained winds at 30 to 40 miles an hour, we will not be able to, to restore at that point in time. Once the winds subside, and we expect that to be, the weather forecasters tell us that we'll be at the, at the break of dawn, but before, we'll be out there as soon as we can. Jack's Ready is a great place to get information, jacksready.com. Thank you. And, and look, what you see here, I mean, out of EOC and all the folks here, this is an organized effort. We are communicating, uh, we are on the same page, and, and we'll be making wise decisions as things develop.